one. Hello, all of you lovely geometry students. First of all, I want to say that I'm Mrs. Razor from Olathe South, and we also have Mr. Brian on here as well from Olathe West. Um, I just want to let all of my students know how much I miss you and how sad all this has made me because I never thought that in a day's time I wouldn't be seeing you for the rest of the school year. So please understand, I know that this is really difficult for you, um, this time that we're going through right now. Um, in our county and our state, but it's also been really tough on us teachers because we're sad. We're not just taking this extended spring break. We're really sad that we don't get to see you. But from here on out, we're going to do continuous learning remotely online, and you'll get some instructions about how to access that. Um, it's going to look like every week we'll have a lesson. You'll go to the website, you'll log in, you'll open up that week's lesson, and then you'll work through it to the best of your ability. Um, please reach out to your teacher if you need help. None of this is new and we are here to help you. Um, it's completely optional. So don't let that um, kind of deter you from trying these. It's just a really good way for us to stay connected and continue your learning throughout the rest of the semester. All right, and then with all that being said, I'm just gonna cover what this week's lesson is gonna look like. And then we're gonna try to keep the same format as we go through week by week. Um, so like we said, we're gonna put out these lessons on Monday and you'll get an email from um, either teachers or your principal on how to access these. Um, for our lesson specifically for this week, you will need um, a pencil, um, paper, um, a straight edge, a calculator, and then any notes that you have or resources, resources that you've used um, in past lessons. Um, so for math specifically, um, we don't know if the other content areas are following this same kind of idea um, or not. But for math specifically, we decided to just go into old content or content and lessons that we've already seen and already taught so that there's no new fourth quarter information. There's no information or problems that you're going to see that you haven't already practiced before. Okay, so with that being said, what this week's lesson is going to look like is it's broken down into three different sections. Um, the first one is all of your previous information. So we've included a step-by-step um, -step way of solving these problems, a different thought process that you can use, and it will show you the instructions, step one, step two, so on and so forth. <coughs> Once you get through those steps, we also included um, slope formula that you can look at and you can see an example of, the distance formula that you can look at and see an example of, and then we also have a few different helpful links for how to solve these problems and different properties. Um, and, and for this lesson specifically, we're gonna be going into quadrilaterals and being able to identify different types of um, quadrilaterals. So that will be the first piece. Here's all the background information. Second piece is we've put in a couple example problems that um, one of the teachers from our district has already filled out. So you guys can look through that teacher's work and see here's how to solve a problem. And they all go along the same idea. Here's four different coordinates for a quadrilateral. What kind of quadrilateral is it? Is it a parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, or square? Um, so like I said, hopefully these are common ideas that you've seen before. And there's two problem, two example problems there. And then the last section is the practice problem. So now it's your turn, the individual practice, where you just need that sheet of paper, you need the pencil, and you need to work out a couple problems on your own and figure out is what kind of quadrilateral is this. Um, and then the last piece we included on the, on the end of this um, packet or on the end of this um, lesson as well is an optional, um, basically extension. So if you're trying to push yourself a little bit more, now I know how to use slope formula and distance formula. Can you also use um, ideas that you've talked about with the equation of a line um, to um, figure out the last side of a quadrilateral? And that side, uh, that uh, problem is at the end, and it's a completely optional if you just want to get some extra practice. Um, <clears throat> so I know that was a lot of information from us, but that is what the lesson is going to look like for this week. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your teachers, obviously um, students of myself or um, Mrs. Razor, you guys know you can reach out to us as well. We're here to help you out. We'll be with you guys the whole, um, whole process. So make sure you utilize that resource. Um, and then as for grades and things like that, make sure to ask your teachers individually. Some teachers may take this for a grade. If you want to try to improve your grade, some teachers may just use this as um, optional time to get some more practice. Okay, but that is all we have. Mrs. Razor, do you have anything more to add? Have a great week, and I hope that you uh, choose to do this along with us. Absolutely. And we will see you all hopefully um, next semester at the beginning of the year. See you all. Yes.